about pulling off the miracle win. You never know. That's for the future. For the present is our concentration and focus on the bronze medal for the boys. And there, from France, Simon Gauzy. Well, in fact, they're similar heights, just a couple of centimetres different. Lakatos there from Hungary is just a couple of centimetres taller. From what I witnessed this morning, I haven't seen many of them uh, play throughout because obviously there's so many tables in action. There were eight tables in operation for the early rounds. But from what I've seen, I think uh, Simon Galsi probably has the edge. But we will see. It's uh, Europe versus Europe, of course, and that will mean the styles are slightly different, maybe not as attack orientated. They have a lot of variation in their game, but it's the speed of the Asians that is so impressive. And the boys that uh, they lost out to, they lost out to Hong Su Xiang. That was Lakatosh. He lost to the Chinese Taipei player. And uh, he just got blown away, to be quite honest. He just had no answer for the speed. Kokiniwa had a little bit more trouble, particularly in the second. Uh, he beat uh, Simon Galsi, who had a real chance to level things up in the second. He didn't take it. He went then down 14-12. But from then on, he lost the concentration. Kokiniwa got even more confident and took it for love. So both these players lost in the semi-final by four games to love. And I think that was a fair reflection on performance, to be quite honest. They, uh, they're looking now to take home a medal, and that will be something really special. So the first Youth Olympic Games medal. That really is something. Just whilst we're just warming up and getting the toss and so on, let me just give you the uh, previous records. Lakatosh is on the left of screen in the red top. He played against uh, Kim Kwan Song of PR Korea and won it 3 2. He played against Bedar, Omar Bedar of Egypt and won it 3 love. He also beat Ecuador's uh, Tapia 3 love and against uh, Kim Dong Hyun of Korea, he won 3 2 as well. Then against uh, Kokiniwa in the second stage, he lost to Kokiniwa by three love. Then, quite surprisingly, lost to Kun Hagaratz of the Netherlands as well. He got through against uh, Hampus Soderland in the quarterfinals by 4 2. And then, as I said this morning, lost against Hong Xiu Xiang of Chinese Taipei for love. So it's been an eventful time. He's lost a couple of matches in these two days of competition. Tamas Lakatosh will benefit hugely, as will obviously the whole team. There's the French coach. His expectations were pretty, pretty high. Let's see whether or not he can get a medal as the uh, Hungarian coach. Simon Galsi, he started out by beating Brazil's Eric Jutti. He then accounted for uh, Hagarats of Netherlands, 3-1. He beat uh, Almorod Holikov of Uzbekistan, 3-love. That was an easy victory. And also Kulpa Konrad, Kon Konrad Kulpa of Poland. He then beat uh, Chu Chung He of Hong Kong. That was a very, very good victory at the end of the second stage. And then took out Luka Fucic of Croatia, 3-2, in a very close encounter. He beat uh, Van Rossum of Belgium, Emilian Van Rossum, 4-1. So he's had a really, really good time, has Simon Gaussi. The only problems he's had in the whole tournament was against Kokiniwa, and then he lost four love this morning. So here we go, the bronze medal match. There's Lakatosh. Gauzy is really focused on this, and I think he's got certainly a great deal more speed. 
been impressed and uh, although Lakatos has lost two matches in the whole tournament when he digs in deep he's also very tricky solid rather than spectacular I think you'd call Lakatos Gauzy has got that sort of French joie de vivre the way he plays is uh, definitely a European style but he's got more attacking opportunities and options <laughs> Nice forehand there into the corner from Lakotosh, his first point of this bronze medal match. 4 1. Okay, good change of direction there, and again that pressure point, keeping the pressure on. Simon Gazi. He winds it up, doesn't he? That was better. That backhand there from Lakatosh really was with a lot of venom. Good speed. Look at that flick. Not a great deal he could do about that. It was super direction and heavy, heavy topspin and side spin on that one. 6-2. It's going France's way at the moment. Just shows really good speed there. And I think Lakatosh had a good idea, couldn't execute. Oh my goodness, wow, wow. Ha! Gee, like a flash he comes through. That forehand is working beautifully here. You have to hand it to the ITTF. I've said it several times already. I mean it every time I commentate on table tennis they really do have a fantastic worldwide program for youth and cadets they have competitions at every level and they really do bring on the youngsters into this game and that's why it's becoming one of the most popular games on the planet the more people actually play recreational table tennis than many other sports and of course at the top level like we're witnessing at the moment it is giving some fantastic performance. It's game already to Simon Gauzy. Absolutely dominant there. And we'll see with the score. It is 11 points to 2. We'll take a short break. Join us in a while for the second one in this bronze medal match. Welcome back. We are at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. We are live. We're in a bronze medal match of the men's singles event. And although the French boy, Simon Gazi, is leading by one love, he started the second game with quite a number of errors. Missed the table, even missed the service. But we're now at 1-3-3-1. And I think that was missed as well. Lagatosh went for a big one down the line. Missed it. It's 3-2. That's a good variation there into the the midriff of Gauzy and he was still able to cope with it put a backhand shot there that wasn't controlled it's three all <laughs> lifted in he's really annoyed with himself there during the break you could see that the coach was a lot more pleased with him than this morning and again the coach wears his heart on his sleeve as well he was really giving him a hard time he's now much more Settled and pleased, although he's missing out on a couple of shots, which he didn't in the first game. You can't get ahead of yourself. You've got to play every point as it comes. You can't dare think beyond that. Ah, oh, that's special. That is really special from Garzi to recover from that. The net play. Look at that. And then he still focuses and gets a really heavy topspin drive. Excellent. four still for the Hungarian uh, but you did you see how well that ball really went almost sideways super side spin Lakatosh couldn't control it it's five all in case you've just joined us we are live at the Singapore Indoor Stadium we've got the bronze medal match four boys here 
Don't go too far away from your television sets because here on five we have got the coverage of Isabel Lee versus Gu Yuting coming up right after this one. So shout and scream, tell your brothers, your mothers and your fathers to come down and watch the TV because it's going to be very exciting. Singapore's first opportunity to get a gold medal at the Youth Olympic Games right here. In a one-to-one -one situation, obviously, Rainer Ung did a brilliant job in that 50 meters uh, in the pool, but uh, just edged out. But uh, in a one-to-one -one situation like this, you know, Isabel could surprise the world. It's happened before. She's going to come up to today at the games at 11 o'clock tonight as well into our studio so lots to look forward to it's a night of table tennis action here at the youth olympics a little bit lucky there from lakatos the hungarian hungary with a really uh, special heritage and history in the game victor bauer one of the all-time great names of the sport hailed from that country. Gauzy being forced to uh, into some errors at the moment. He's not having it all his own way. It's eight all. There's another one. Nine it's eight. nine eight, and Lagatos just clenches his fist. Because of his size and the length of his uh, legs and his arms, he has to adapt, you know. It's not so easy to play this game when you're that big. There are some guys in Europe who really do have a, a really good appreciation of this. I'm thinking in terms of Samsonov, who, the Belarusian who is in the top ten world rankings. Kima Ball, of course, is above him. It's much smaller, the German. Wang Li Chin is quite a, a tall guy as well. The three-time world champion from China. But generally speaking, it's not necessarily an advantage to be that tall. Gauzy now on the verge of a two-love lead. It's 10-9 in the second. He's missed it. Ten, Speed is probably more important than anticipation and shot option. There are lots of things that go into making up a top table tennis player. It's tens. No! They're liking this. It's 11 10. Simon Gauzy. This is a very important moment. You take a two love lead, you're feeling really confident. He's got it. It's 12-10. He punches the air again, and the French boy, Simon Galsy, takes the lead, and I'm sure the coach will really, really be enthusiastically praising him for that. Not only did he get through it, he managed also to put that extra little bit of pressure on his opponent. Let's have a look at the score. 11-2. That was a whitewash. And then 12-10. Lakatosh had his chances, didn't take them. We are still live on five at the bronze medal match. Simon Gazi from France against Thomas Lakatosh of Hungary. Lakatosh, I hope your eyesight's good enough to read his name. He's in the red top. It's leveled at once. And of course, we're almost at the end of the games here and they of course they've 
They've had to wait quite a long time. If they came early, even if they were watching the opening ceremony, it really is a long time to be waiting around. In fact, it was over a week before they got uh, into the competition proper. So they've been training, they've been keeping themselves busy, maybe going out and taking advantage of some of the cultural and education programs. And, uh, of course, that is one central element of the Youth Olympics. But the bottom line is that they've been concentrating on trying to perform well as as well as taking in all the other experiences. So it's been a tough time waiting to this, this opportunity to be on centre stage. But right now, bronze medal. Galsy's shaking his head there. He's down by one in the game, but up by two in the match. No! Three, four, little exuberant of course but uh, you can understand that the relief is very intense I tell you what that is a very good backhand that is a super backhand and it keeps the pressure on huge huge side and top on that Let's see if we can see it again he leaves it right till the end to play it and he's not uh, that was a really actually it was a very good serve to be honest Lakatosh served really well there See if we can spot that backhand flick from very close. Okay, here we go. Defensive play, and <laughs> Kelsey wins it. There are lots of ways of playing this match and playing this game. And there was one of them. Right in the corner. It's fives. Quite an exuberant character, you can tell, Simon Galsy. Lakatosh is much more reserved, plays within himself, doesn't show his emotion a great deal. But Galsy is very extravagant in everything he does. The thinking man, Lakatosh. That's not to say that Gauss is not a thinker as well, because he's had to play mind games as well as the actual sport. the focus on this match there's nothing else happening it's all on court one it's a better flick that was the one that uh, I was hoping to show you earlier look at this it comes from below the table and he winds it up it's a very very interesting very risky shot and now at 8-7 seven, 7-8 seven, rather there is a timeout called. Well, Lakatosh cannot really afford to lose this one, I can tell you. A free love is so difficult to come back from. Great crowd here inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Simon Galzi and Tamas Lakatosh doing battle for the bronze medal in the men's event. There is a hush around the crowd because they know what's coming up next saving their voices for the big one it will be isabel v of singapore attempting to scale the heights for her it'll be a mount everest today in the form and the shape of who you think that's coming up right after this Back to table, the timeout complete. Lakatosh with a big job to do. Does well. 
that was a really good time out then if uh, he gets on the scoreboard it's eight Even with that reach, an extra height and an extra reach, he still couldn't take advantage. It would have been better to get a little bit earlier in, take it earlier, and he would have finished it off. So, oh, Gauzy just pretends to be falling apart there. He can't believe it. He took the edge. Look at this. Look, no chance. Little apology, but I tell you what. You'll take those every time, won't you, if you get a point out of it. Nines. And now, Lagatosh has a chance to take a game. He's got a 10-9. And he's got it. It's 11-9 in the third. A shake of the head from Simon Gauzy. But, uh, well, you could say it was a little bit of good fortune in that penultimate point from Thomas Lakatos. But in the end, Gauzy just didn't play well enough. He made too many errors. Lakatos was very, very consistent and deserved ultimately to pick that game up. It's 2-1 in favor of Simon Gauzy. Really good buzz here. Fantastic games. I was up in the media center earlier this afternoon and I saw Sam Yang, the chairman of the organizing committee, giving interview after interview to various TV people and press. And he's had a fantastic experience. What an honor to host the games. What an honor for Singapore. It's all gone swimmingly well. And that's a good first point there for Simon Galsi. Off the tape and out. Lakatosh keeping his composure. Gauzy needs to keep his his natural inclination under control because he strikes me as the kind of character that could lose his cool if he if he just allows himself to just loosen up a bit. He needs to keep discipline. Lagatosh going for a big forehand. He misses it. It's twos. Great angle. Yes. 3 2. Gauci. 2 3. The angle he got on that one was extraordinary. Good effort there by Gauzy and the crowd immediately. They love the idea of that ball being really struck deep and hard. And they want to see players back five, six meters from the table. That'll get them going for sure. Threes. Lakatoj is certainly battling well. Superb. Well, he lifts his hand there and finger to say, uh, okay, that was one. 
it was there was no air, no apology required there. It's an absolute cracker. It's 5-2. He's playing well, is Lakatosh. Just missed that one on the backhand side. It came a bit harder to him than he had realized. It's 5 4. Celebrated his 15th birthday on the 12th of August. And uh, Tamas Lakatosh. He just looks so much older than that. 5 all in the fourth. Six, five, Solid serving from Galsi. Play. Continuous play required. No. And uh, another point for five seven. You heard the umpire there call continuous play. We had some incidents earlier. And Gu Yu Ting was actually penalised a point for delaying the progress of the match. It is written in the rules. It must be continuous. She was warned a few times. Oh, this is good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed to get the crowd ooing and eyeing from distance. He's back with definitely a more positive perspective again at 9-5. He's very lively. He's very aggressive. Leaping around like a lion at the moment. Well, if you would call Gauzy a lion, what would Lakatosh be? I'm not trying to be unfair, but would he be a giraffe? I don't know. He's certainly a talented man, isn't he? Only 15 years old, even now. That was lovely, lovely side spin as well. He put a huge amount of spin on that. We could see that in replay. 7-9. And that's a great serve for 8-9. He's fighting hard. Very unfair for me to even contemplate calling him the giraffe. What other zoo animals? Gazelle, how about that? So Galsy the lion and Lakatosh the gazelle, he really is performing well. What a great fight back that is. Nine all. You never know, he might just push it to level things at two all. Galsy is being taken by surprise here. There's been some very, very good defensive. Backhand play, particularly from Lakadosh. There's another series of them. Oh, yes, just a little bit too much speed on that one. Much too much pace from Galsey. He edges the lead now to 10 9. It's a very impressive matchup, this. It's bragging rights for Europe here. And that's it, it's 11-9, it's a 3-1. Wow, and he, though he apologizes, Simon Gauzy will be inside, absolutely celebrating that. It just caught the edge from the service. Yeah, he does apologize, two hands in the air. Major apology, but now, I tell you what, the coach will probably be saying, hey, you had a chance, you were at 9-5 and you let that slip. He squeezed it out at 11-9, but it was too close for comfort. 3-1 to France. One more game required.
they're doing here inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium. They're really building the crowd up. This bronze medal match, again, as I've said before, is the hors d'oeuvre. The main meal is about to happen, and the music, the whole atmosphere is building. I know that all the Singapore dignitaries will be out in this Singapore Indoor Stadium to witness this gold medal match in just a while. And they will be really encouraging Isabel Lee in just a while. We've still got this one to go through. Great opening point here in the fifth. Lakatosh has shown some real qualities. His resil resilience, his resistance, his defense has been excellent and he's been putting pressure on as well. He's certainly got used to this environment now. Gauzy, a lot more exuberant and, and extravagant, picks up a good shot there from the forehand. coaches go through agonies realistically this was uh, as much as they could have expected I think both Galsi and Lakatosh were roundly beaten soundly beaten by their opponents in the semi-finals in fact uh, Kokiniwa and Su Xiang Hong. That would be a really interesting matchup. I can't wait for that one as well. That gold medal match after the women's gold in just a while. That's better from Gauzi. Leveled it in the fifth. He's only 15, is Gauzy. Not 16 until October. So both 15 years old. Gauzy, the senior, by about I think, 10 months, something like that. Lagatosh apologizes, but again, really pleased. This is pressure. Wow. <laughs> Looking for some heavy, heavy side spin there. Just hit it too strongly. It's fives. really paying attention you know they're watching and they've picked out who they want to support it's uh, very interesting oh yes six all it's certainly a reflection of his character you can tell the way he plays his style is very exuberant and he comes up with some really really good plays Simon Gauzy, just five points away from a medal at the Youth Olympic Games. Four points away now. And there, we see a fascinated Singapore crowd enjoying this one. Just, just has a second bite at that one. Great play. Oh, 
yes, yes, 8-6, eight, 6-8. Six. Six, eight. Look at the smiles there. Oh, yo. Alama. You could hear it. <laughs> oh, fantastic play. Lagodos could do nothing about it. Simon Gauzy, as I said, he is just a showman, isn't he? Fantastic. Oh, he wants this medal. What a rally! Great stuff from Lakatosh. He is equally keen to impress. They've saved the best to last, haven't they? Fantastic rallies. Two in a row. 7-8. Well, we all love to see the best of performances. Doesn't matter which country. It's just wonderful to behold. And another one for 9-7. Gauzy, two points away from bronze. This is that one, the excitement just abating a little bit. We love to see the positive play. We don't like to see points won on errors. He's still got another chance here. And that is 10-8. It is match point here for Simon Gauzy of France. And you know what that means? If he converts it, all eyes focusing on the gold medal women's match. I hope you're not going too far away from your TV sets. We're live on five. Chance here for France for bronze. He's got it. No. No. Oh, yes, he has now. 11-8. He punches the air. And that is a really, really impressive, impressive performance. What a fantastic performance there by Simon Gauzy of France. His coach was as excited as he was. They take home a medal, and that really is a wonderful, wonderful achievement. Lakatosh contributed hugely. He was a little bit more introspective, but at the end, Gauzy's exciting play won through. And look at that. He is over the moon at that. Très bien. Congratulations all round. Well done, Simon Gauzy from France. Bronze medal, bronze medal is his. There's the scoreline. 11-2, 12-10, 9-11. And I tell you what, he went through brilliantly at the end. Lakatosh fought hard, fought well, but it wasn't quite good enough. The red, white and blue of France. Allez les bleus. Well done. He'll come back for the presentation ceremony later on. But let's just have a quick look at the, uh, the highlights of the moment. The toss of the coin. That little tongue out of uh, Simon Gauzy. Celebrating here, just these little moments, some of which were really, really important. Others, yeah, you can tell. He is such a determined player. Good performance all round, I must say. Very exciting. And there, the relationship between coach and competitor is very, very good to see. A lot more, certainly, energy and passion and exuberance than uh, amongst the Asian coaches and their uh, charges, of course. And there is the winning point. Oh, is that great. I've done it.